He is crazy. He is old. But is he a coot? It's time for the crazy old coot. Good morning. It's your crazy old coot here. Today we're going to be showing you how to update your BIOS or UEFI on a um, ASRock motherboard. Okay, so first thing you're going to need to do is go to your product page for your ASRock motherboard. And in this case, it's my X370 Killer SLI AC. Okay, and then you go up and you hit support. And you come up with this page and you will um, please key in the name of your product to search. So you will um, type in your product there and hit search. And you will come up with this screen. And you want your whichever in this case it's the x370 killer SLIAC and you hit downloads and then you will select your OS in this case it's Windows 10 64-bit and you come to this screen these are all the downloads no up at the top where it says BIOS you click the BIOS button and that brings you to this screen. Now this is the important screen, okay? So, what you need to do here is we're interested in these top two, version 3.50 and version 4.50. And we're using the InstaFlash, Instant Flash, InstaFlash sounds better. And, uh, so you're going to download both of those, and I just hit global and downloaded them. And here they are downloaded, right there at the bottom. And this is the file name. This would be the X370 Killer SLIAC 3.5 and 4.5. These are ROMs, and these are zipped. So now... You've got to put in a USB stick, and it has should be formatted to FAT32 in order for this to work. Okay. So you will just download, I mean, uh, transfer, open up your file here, the zip file, and get the file, and then move that file over to your uh, USB stick. Okay, so here I've got both files on the USB stick, okay? The 3.5 and the 4.5, and these are right there. So now that you've got uh, both the, the two files, the bridge file and the update file, downloaded onto your flat, your USB, because they got to be on a USB. And um, now you shut down the computer or restart the computer. And with ASRock, you hit F2. One of those rebooting to get into the, the BIOS. Okay, so here we go. Restart. And there we go. So the BIOS. So now you go to tools. Mm -hmm. UEFI update utility instant flash. So it's searching. And so it, it actually finds it itself. 
So here's the 3.50. So you hit update. It double checks. You sure you want to do this? Yes. And now you wait. Now through the magic of YouTube, it's almost done. Okay, program success. Press enter to reboot system. Or okay. Now we gotta hit F2 again because we need to get the final one, the 4.5. There we go. Again, you go to Tool, and you go to Instant Flash, and it's searching. So this time it gives you both, because you can actually redo your BIOS if you needed to. But we're only interested in the uh, 4.50, okay? The other thing I don't know if I caught, it, your uh, USB stick has to be FAT32, okay? So that's what we want. Hit update. Yes. And we go through this again. And again, through the magic of YouTube, we're back here and we're almost done. And program success. Press enter to reboot. And we're rebooting again. And now we want to go in the BIOS again because we want to check our settings. And there we go. Now we go into OC Tweaker. Yeah. This is 3200 memory, and I've never got it to go to 3200. But in my old, my other ASRock board, I was able to get it up to 3066. So let's try that. So, let's just give it the old uh, save changes and exit and see if it boots. And we're into Windows. And this is your crazy old coo wishing you a good evening.